Welcome to Hollywood. What is your dream? I'm living my dream right now. So I've been here so many times up the road right here. Wishing just to walk down here. And I always had a dream to touch the Hollywood sign. And today is probably the day that I'm going to do it. It's pretty emotional, believe it or not. All right. Today I'm going to do a story about the iconic Hollywood sign celebrating a 100 year anniversary which is coming up in a few months in 2023. I'm standing on Beechwood Drive right now where the iconic entrance is to the Hollywood land. Exactly 100 years ago and I'm showing you around. And you guys know by now that I love to match up pictures. This is a very old picture from 100 years ago, the entrance to the Hollywood land. There was a big billboard right in the middle of the picture, which would have been right here. And as you can see in the picture, there were no houses around. The only house that was standing, that was the house right here. And believe it or not, the house is still there, which is right here. The first house built in Hollywood land. There's a plaque of Hollywood land established 1923. And this is the two stone gate established in 1920 historic culture monument this was the little guard shack they wanted to make it into a gated community so everybody had to come into this gate here but it never really worked and since hollywood has the best weather in the whole country a lot of movie companies moved to hollywood and that's when the movie industry got started right here and the first house that was built it's now like a realtor corporation. You can come here and probably buy houses. And right here on Beachwood Drive, they have this little store here. And they got some really cool pictures inside. I want to show you. Wow, there's actually a picture where it shows where the first house was built. Nothing around it, just empty hill. And that was basically the birth of the sign in 1923. Harry Chanter, the LA Times publisher, Look at all those old cars, I love it. The sign was actually put up just to be an advertisement for the upscale real estate development. So people can buy some property and build the houses. And to get some recognition, they put a huge sign up. And this is how the sign looked like. And believe it or not, the sign had 4,000 light bulbs and it was flashing. First it was flashing holly, then wood, and then the land, and then at the end, Everything was flashing together. Hollywood land. Crazy, huh? Back then you could see the Hollywood land sign really easy, but now they have like all those trees growing over it. You can see the sign here, Hollywood sign. They paid $23,000 to put up the Hollywood land sign. Whoever put this rock where this rock is right now would never guess that 100 years later, somebody's gonna do a video, not somebody, the GIV is doing a video about how he put this rock up here. Amazing. A really nice flower pot. And this is how they distribute the electricity to the houses, not underground. No, they put it up like this to get it to all the nice houses up there. Just imagine, none of those houses were here. And of course, I had to come over to match up this picture. That was me the first time I took a picture with the Hollywood sign. Look at this. That's when I had dreams and hopes to be an actor, movie star, action hero. I was standing right in front of this pole right here. Look, they even have those trees are the same, but they grow so much. And the palm tree looks much better too now. Yeah, but that was me 31 years ago, coming to America, the land of the dream, the land of the honey. Man, how long you been waiting here? You still want to be an actor and a movie star? I love how they have all those cacti on the side of the street. And since Los Angeles is the number one city for plastic surgery, I think the Hollywood sign is going to get a makeover too for the 100 year anniversary. The last time the sign was painted was 10 years ago. Now they're gonna put a brand new coat over it. First, they're gonna clean it, pressure wash it. Then they put like a primer on top and then 400 gallons of paint 
are gonna be put on this sign. There's some YouTube pranksters that climbed up the D. I think his name was Vladi. It's a Russian guy, he was standing on the D. And also Danny Duncan. I would not recommend to do that. There's a hefty fine. It's about a few thousand dollars and it could be like a misdemeanor, if, even a felony, trespassing. I found another sign, but it's not here anymore. This is the Moholland. And the one I found was Moholland 5,900. But this says the Ronda Drive. But here you can see how deteriorated the Hollywood sign used to be. Jeff, this is not the video where I interview you. Das kommt erst in zwei Tagen. Okay, stay tuned. Sometimes you come here, there's a lot of people here. And sometimes you come here, there's barely anybody here. I just see one person today. And I just want to tell you a little bit about the history of the sign. In 1940, the Hollywood land real estate actually went under because of the Great Depression. And all this here became city property. And the city didn't like the Hollywood sign. They wanted to tear it down. But then the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce has stepped in and saved it. In 1949, they took the land part away from the Hollywood sign. But it was still in such bad shape. Sometimes when the wind was really hard, the O fell over, the H was breaking up. So you see some pictures where you can tell it didn't look too good. And then in 1978, the sign looked so bad, all the residents wanted the sign to be removed. But that's when the founder of the Playboy magazine stepped in, Hugh Hefner. And you can see how bad the sign looked in the background right here. But he held like a gala at his Playboy mansion and he auctioned off each letter to different people. Together they donated $250,000. And from what I know, Alice Cooper bought one of the letters and the Y is the one Hugh Hefner paid for. And then some other ones go to, I think, um, some movie companies. Even the famous band Fleetwood Mac tried to donate the money. They wanted to do a concert right here, but all the residents around this area did not want them to play. What a bummer. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely fantastic. I got a picture with the governor of California standing in front of the Hollywood sign. But Arnold, why you make it such a terrible face? You should be happy. He was one of the people they helped to save the Hollywood sign as well. Of course, he's a super action muscle hero. Arnold, how about you inviting me to your office? I really want to do a video about your office in Santa Monica. You probably hate me now because I always make fun of you. I'm not really making fun of you. I admire you because of you is where the German Venice came to California. I met you before and hopefully I'm going to meet you again and shake your hand and say thank you Arnold for your inspiration for me to come to America. I'm going to put a link right here where you can check out the live cam from the Hollywood sign. You can see the front and the back. The Hollywood sign is an international landmark since 1923. It sits on Mount Lee, I didn't know that. And it's 45 feet tall and 350 feet long. And since Hollywood is the city of dreams, Hollywood represents all those dreams. People want to touch it, people want to take pictures of it. Back then, they didn't have all the equipment. They had to put all this wood they brought up there with horses and donkeys. Well, that was right the Hollywood land sign. Of course, the Hollywood sign has been in a lot of movies and here's an episode from Seinfeld where they're sitting right in front of it. Blondie had a promo shot right here. And please follow Smokey the Bear's rules. Do not smoke anywhere around here because it's really dry area. It can burn pretty quick. So no smoking, please. Sometimes it's really hard to match up pictures. I'm not sure. It looks like this area where I'm standing and they'll probably tear down this old house and put up a new house right there. But this could definitely be the area. Look at the old cars here. The ladies hanging out the window. They had no idea how famous the Hollywood sign is gonna be back then. There's many times that people try to deface the Hollywood sign with their own sign and here are some samples. Go Navy, Holly Boob. Probably the most famous one is Holly Weed. Parrot Wood, Sally Wood, Caltech, Go UCLA, 
Save the peak. And the most recent one, Rams houses when the Rams won the Super Bowl. So I'm here with Oscar right now. And this is the gates that go up to the Hollywood sign. And normally I can never drive up here, but today I'm driving up here. The entrance, if you park your car down the way, the entrance is on the side. But today we actually got access to the sign driving up. She's opened the gates for us. What? Driving through the gates. It is so much nicer to drive up here than walking up here. My face already hurts because I smile so much going up the street here. There's the Forest Lawn Cemetery. So I've been here so many times up the road right here, wishing just to walk down here. And I always had a dream to touch the Hollywood sign. And today is probably the day that I'm going to do it. It's pretty emotional, believe it or not. All right. It's hard for you guys to understand that somebody can get emotional, do stuff like this. But when you grow up in Germany, and you see the Hollywood sign on TV, you always wish to be there one day. And I've been up there many times, but going down, actually touching the sign is pretty awesome. Look at that view. Oh, look at the gate. How is it for you, Oscar? That's yeah, good. So there's this rope here. Let me, let me get a little bit more down and then you come And there's back. where Oscar's going down to the sign. And believe it or not, the officer was watching my videos as well. That rope makes it so much easier to go down than if you just would slide down the way here. Look at this beautiful view here. Bringing down all the paint here, look. No trespassing. There's the H. <laughs> legally. <laughs> that was always my dream to touch it legally. That's right. That's right. And today we're here doing it. Unbelievable. Now, I want to do a shout out to the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce to make it possible for me to be here today. This is a long life, lifetime dream for me from Germany coming to America and touching the Hollywood sign. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. And it's just corrugated metal. I thought it's gonna be really thick, but it actually moves when you touch it. Painting the Hollywood sign. And they've taken all the rust off and they prime it and then they paint it. So they're doing a really good job. Look how steep it goes down here. You gotta be really careful that you don't fall. Oh my goodness, look how huge those letters are. You don't imagine them being that big when you see it, but when you stand in front of it, huge. even better than I imagined. Even though it is surreal, you don't believe this is the Hollywood sign, but it is the Hollywood sign. Wow. Okay, now I'm hugging the, the L for love.
There's a lot of YouTubers, they just jump the fence and came down here to touch the Hollywood sign. This is everybody's dream to touch the Hollywood sign. And I always thought about coming here and doing it, but I never, never wanted to do it the, the illegal way, you know? So now I can actually enjoy it. I don't have to rush. I don't have to be nervous to get caught. You know, there's other ways to do stuff. When you're getting older and you're not crazy and young anymore, you try to do it different ways. And I always said one day I'm gonna be here touching it. And I did it, I did it. There's the Y and somebody actually put the name in concrete, it was Jim. And there's another one right here. So people come up with all kinds of ideas to have their name here at the Hollywood sign. And I'm here with Jeff and Jeff works with the Hollywood Trust. Is it a Hollywood tr Sign Trust? Sign Trust. Yeah, jawohl. Jawohl. <laughs> and you know what? He also speaks German. I can't I'm believe bisschen, it. I'm bisschen, yeah. Bisschen gut. I, I, ich habe alles verstanden. <laughs> I, I understood everything he said. Yeah. And who pays for this right now to get the Hollywood a Sign Trust is the is the one is the entity which is in charge of the, and controls the Hollywood sign, the Hollywood sign, and we've been doing it since 1978, October 1978, and most of our funding comes from the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And uh, right now we're we you know the, the Hollywood sign is coming on its, its centennial. It'll be almost a hundred years old uh, in 2023. Right now it's what what month is this? September, September of 2022. Yeah. So we're, we're preparing the sign for its uh, 100th year makeover Okay. Uh, in 2023. And uh, we're painting the entire sign. The last time the sign was painted was in 2012. So we just started on the 19th. It should last until around November 15th or so. Okay. So they should be done by then. And uh, the Hollywood sign will look uh, as new as ever. That's great. And yeah. all those... for all the people around the world to enjoy. That's right. I mean, you've been here so many times. You still enjoy being I, here? You know, it never gets old for me. I've been up here so many times, but every time I come up here, it's always it's, there's always something new to see, something new to learn. And uh, we're also, you know, redoing all of our camera systems. So that's, okay. I, that's why I'm up here today. Not only to inspect the painting, but to inspect all of our cameras. Because I mean, we got to keep those in tip top shape too. This is but iconic. If, if anybody wants to look at the, the sign being painted live, you can go to our website. Okay. www.hollywoodsign.org. O R G. And we have two webcams and uh, they're on 24 7. You yeah. know, no need to hike up here like uh, Michael and I. You no, know? but this is an experience <laughs> I will never forget for the rest of my life, of you know? So. Not. Yeah. This is absolutely incredible. Yeah, Thank what, you so much yeah. for allowing me to. But be all the here. people in Germany can look uh, at the sign around the world. <laughs> okay. They can look on our webcams. All righty. You know? <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Gotta touch the O. So I'm actually sitting right here on the original piece where the land used to stand, like Hollywood land, and this is where the L used to be. This stomp and this stomp right here. And I gotta sit on it right here to take some pictures. People also rode on here. Yeah. I think they're gonna clean it first, then they're gonna put prime on it, and then at the end, they're gonna paint it over one more time. The D, behind the D. Even if you walk this little incline here, you can feel it already and the breath too. Woo. I supposed to be in Vegas today, but see how things work out. You never know. I'm glad I didn't go. This is where I filmed Friends with Benefits, Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. They were sitting right here in the O. You see the O from behind, it's hard to see, but that's where they were sitting on. That's where she jumped off. I don't think she really jumped down that way. And I believe some of the shots were taken in the studio. It's a perfect day. 
Look at this, really hot day today. And here you can really see is just sheet metal, really thin sheet metal. But it will not bend like the old Hollywood sign in the wind. Many times the ladders fell over at the old sign. And look, there's actually a rock with the Hollywood paint on it. You know where this is going, right? You can actually walk between the two L's. Let me check it out. That's the L. And you can see here, this is all that stuff they're gonna fix. All the little rust for the next hundred years. Really good shot between the two L's. We see downtown LA. It's not really easy to bring all the equipment down here. They have to carry everything down here. Look, that big car, it had to come all the way down here. That's not an easy task. Lee at the Hollywood sign, which is getting its 100th year makeover and we're painting the entire sign which happens every 10 years so this is a monumental moment for the for the district of hollywood welcome they got the motion sensors cameras and that's how they fix it up right here all the little rust part in the back is gonna be cleaned up. Complete makeover. This is a little sad story. This is the age, not the original one, but in 1932, the actress Peck Entwistle jumped from this age and she fell down here and lost her life because she couldn't, she thought she could not get another gig in the movie industry. But rumor has it that the day after she lost her life, she got a letter in the mail that she got the lead role for a movie. So if there's a bad day in your life, just stay through it. There will be a better day coming up. And just to let you guys know, I had permission to be here today. I had somebody who brought me down here. So don't try to come here on your own. There's cameras everywhere. There's going to be a fee if you get caught. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. And like always, if there's a cool location, you never want to leave, but it's time to go. There's two ways to go back up. Okay, we are allowed to be here. We are allowed to be here, sir. This is the best workout, huh? Ooh. <laughs> well, that was it. We're leaving. The gate has got open for us. And we see you guys at the next time. Thank you so much. Thank Bye. you. And look how nice and beautiful the Hollywood Lake is. It's so quiet here. There's the Hollywood sign. And you see this building here in the middle. That was Madonna's old house. And I think this is a pretty cool place to do a shout out to Oscar and the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce to allow me to do what I do up there at the Hollywood sign. It was amazing. My dream came through and those people didn't have to let me up there. They, you know, there's people that go out of their way to make other people happy. And I experience that all the time. Try to help people. It's always good. And like I said, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We love LA. Can you believe it? That there is deer here in Hollywood? just a few blocks from the Hollywood sign and the Hollywood Boulevard. Hey buddy, where you going?
They have deers in Hollywood. <laughs> well, my friends, you know that I always like to take a souvenir wherever I go. Don't tell anybody. I took one of the O's because they already have three, so now they only have two. Don't tell anybody. I am at the old Max Factor building. It's the Hollywood Museum. And believe it or not, they have a piece of the original Hollywood sign in there. Let's check it out. Here it is, a piece from the original age from 1978. There we got the current one. And believe it or not, here it is. And I'm actually touching it. Look at this. I'm touching the original age from the old Hollywood sign. People write stuff on here. Man, that's a piece of history. I love how they have all those holes in there. You spray paint it on there. Man, I would have loved to see that lane on the ground. Touch it one more time, yeah. Ooh, -hoo. I don't know. I don't know. You probably don't understand why it makes me feel so good. I don't. I don't really know either, but it does. And you should do more things that make you feel good, no matter what it is. I just enjoy looking at the sign. I like the graffiti on it and everything. I would love to have that piece in my place. What I don't know is if this was the original piece from back then when the lady. She was a, an inspired actress from New York, Peck and Whistle, but she couldn't really make it in Hollywood. So she uh, decided to take her own life, jumping off the H from the Hollywood sign. Wow. I heard that the artist Bill Mack bought the old Hollywood sign and he has the H in his backyard, but I don't understand. How can he have the H if this is a piece of the original? So something is missing there. But he's an artist and he paints like Marilyn Monroe, he, James Dean, Elvis Presley. He paints all those famous, uh, iconic people on the old Hollywood sign. And there we have another picture how it looked back then. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Hollywood sign in Hollywood. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice. That was absolutely amazing being here. I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And I see you in my next video. Choosing from Hollywood.